friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this week's grocery haul. If you are new here, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do grocery hauls as well as what's for dinner videos. So look out for those on Sunday mornings. Um, but anyways, let's just get started. My tortie that likes to investigate everything decided she needed to come up here and show you how good she is at slow blinking. Um, but she knows that she's not supposed to be up here, so she did go. But she just wanted to say hi really quick. I got this all from mostly Albertsons, but I got a few other things from other stores and I'll mention those in a moment. So I picked up some of the Chobani Oat Vanilla Milk for some chia seed pudding. And then I was in the store and I saw this kid like telling his parents he wanted Cherry Dr. Pepper and it made it sound so good. So I just grabbed a two liter of that. Some flour. I have been looking for the Oreo Cakesters, like, desperately searching everywhere for them have not been able to find them till today so i'm excited to have found those also saw some new things so they have these hostess bouncers they are little like poppable versions of like ding dong twinkie let's see the back of the package does show let me see if i can show you that they have the twinkie and then a cinnamon donut version uh so they are just like little poppable versions of that and i thought that sounded good i love ding dongs i kind of wanted to try the twinkie one but i was like i just don't need both of them right now so yeah just got the one got some french bread this is because the person in the bakery was talking to me and then they were like oh I just put out some hot fresh bread at the front of the store if you want that and I was like Ugh, I wasn't even coming here for bread but it sounded good so I grabbed that as well as you can tell I went to the store hungry and people were influencing me and it's okay um I'll probably have a piece of this and then maybe I'll make some um meatball subs with it tomorrow I got a green banana because I like to have those on hand couple more of these Clearman spreads from a local restaurant close to me uh, didn't realize how much it takes to actually make one piece of bread like you use a lot of the containers so I grabbed two of them this time um, to use on my sourdough bread got two of these squeeze garlic thing tube things I like to keep these on hand and I go through it so fast so I did grab an extra one this time because I noticed I'm going out way too fast uh, I got an avocado, another one of the Icelandic yogurts. This one is the key lime, some of the holy guacamole mini cups, a cucumber, got some pork tenderloins. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to defrost one for dinner today, so I just grabbed some in case as well. And then I made white chocolate macadamia, macadamia nut cookies recently. They were so good. And I needed to get more of the macadamia nuts because they didn't come in a very big package here. Um, and then the ones that do are like seasoned or already salted, like they're more for snacking, not for baking. So uh, I got these instead and I'll try to find a bigger bag later somewhere else. Also, they didn't have any of the Ghirardelli white chocolate baking chips. So I just had to get the Toll House ones all that I could find. They're just, they're okay. I really like the Ghirardelli ones. That's fine. Um, you're gonna see a lot of chips right now. Do I need all these? No, I don't. But my brother-in-law asked for some Cheetos. I got three kinds because I don't know what kind, so you're basic. Flamin' Hot, Crunchy, Puffy. Can't go wrong on that. When you buy three anyway, they were a way better price. So that plus popcorn because I'm addicted to this popcorn. I've mentioned this to you guys a billion times. This Skinny Pop popcorn is so good. I can eat it by the bag. It's really, really, really good. Um, I've been trying to make popcorn at home as well. For snacking, it's I got the Flava Call off Amazon, which I've shown you guys previously, but uh, I finally used it. I used like the Orville Redenbacher, uh, what is it, the topping oil butter stuff. That's really good. Probably not great for you, but really good. And then um, I had popcorn I had on hand already. It was like yellow popcorn. Yeah, I didn't love it. I ended up getting the Orville Redenbacher white kernels. Those are so much better if you're looking to buy like kernels of popcorn. They popped better. They were lighter, crunchier. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, more chips here. These little wheel chips are delicious. I was near that grocery store, which is superior. So I figured while I'm near it, grab them because they do last a little while. They're not just like expiring within a couple days, but they are better fresh. So I got three bags of those then let's backtrack a little bit here I got some radishes I want to roast those up I saw a recipe to roast up radishes and 
they sound really good so or they looked really good um and then these were from grocery outlet it seemed to be the best price i could find around even like looking on amazon and stuff is that uh i was looking for a maca root powder and it was about maybe 20 to 30 dollars online and i don't remember the ounces but I, a lot of the bags were only eight ounces and this is a 16 ounce package so it was only 9.99 so the price is great on that same thing i got ashwagandha powder and um this one's only an 8 ounce package, but it was cheaper than $9.99. I think I was like $5.99 or $6.99. And then uh, wheatgrass powder, again on Amazon, I believe it's about $20 to $30 for 8 ounces. And this is a 16 ounce package, so that's great as well. They have a bunch of other ones. I took some pictures to kind of like look up stuff, but these were the three that I've heard a lot about, so I grabbed those. Alright, I made a trip to Vaughn's. I picked up some more of these uh, snack green olive things. I really liked them a lot, so I did grab a couple more of those because they were delicious. I love olives. I love snacking things like that. I got some Ghirardelli white baking chips. Uh, the other day I had to get some Toll House because it's all my store had, but I was at this store, like this location, and I figured they had them, so I grabbed two of those. Then I got some soy sauce. We love Kiko Man. It's pretty much the only soy sauce I will ever buy. I love that stuff. I needed salt. I was going to go to Sam's Club. I should have just went there, but um, I just like needed it. I have like none. So I grabbed a thing of the fine salt, some of this liquid coconut oil, and then I got a cucumber lime smart water and a vitamin water, some of these blue diamond nut thins got a couple things of the Welch's berries and cherries fruit snacks and some black raspberry chip ice cream that is so amazing we love that a lot it is just really really good decadent and delicious um got some of the is it Raina Rana um I'm gonna go with Raina uh Alfredo sauce and then they had the buy one get one on the family size like packaged pastas like this so I got two of the mozzarella and cheese raviolis not sure if I'll make these a dinner or just like break them up for myself to have like just every now and then as like a small bowl not sure uh got some more baby bell cheeses love those a lot a couple zucchini this Jack Daniels Tennessee honey pulled pork I uh, like to keep these on hand just for if I'm like absolutely need something in just a few minutes. Like I have no time for dinner kind of thing. Like if something goes down and I need to save myself some time. So that's great for that. Um, got some boneless wings. I've already gotten into these because they're really what I wanted. Uh, these honey barbecue ones. They are so, so good. The flavor is delicious. Everything about them, so delicious. So I really wanted those. So I opened them and had a few already. I uh, got the Milton's crackers, like those for snacking cheeses and things like that. Got some Munster cheese, uh, cucumber, uh, banana, a couple of the Nature's Bakery fig bars. Love these. Love the oat crumble strawberry one the most, but I really do like uh, the fig bar as well, and I like the raspberry one the most. We both do. Got two of the Pete's Ristretto's. They were on sale, so I figured grab a couple more. If they're still on sale in a few days, I didn't really look to see when the sale ends on them. I might grab more. Love my espresso now. Like, addicted to just having espresso-based drinks now over iced coffee. It's so much better. And then got some pistachios and some salmon. Just gonna cut that up right now and freeze it for some future meals. Okay, and meal plan for the week. Sundays now, I've taken them back as to like, I've loved Sunday always. It's been my day of relaxation. A lot recently, I haven't taken it the way I would like to. So I'm going back to just doing takeout so there's less like tasks for me to do like that, no dishes. And then the rest of the week, meals, there's no specific order, but one day we'll have some pesto shrimp, ravioli. Uh, I saw a recipe for a spicy, creamy bell pepper chicken. It looked delicious. So I really wanna make that. Um, I put rice as the side 
because it sounded like it'd go well with it, but I might try to find something else because I have rice on a couple other dishes so that I can switch it up. And then um, just some type of vegetable. Another night I saw a recipe for cabbage roll skillet. That sounded good. That one's definitely going to have rice with it. I think that pairs very well with that. And then another night, some steak in the air fryer risotto. And I've seen recipes for roasted radishes that I really want to try. I think it's like a keto dish a lot people say but I'm not keto it just looked really good and I wanted to try it out so um, I love radishes and I'm excited to try that uh, another night it's gonna be coconut curry basil chicken that also sounded really delicious that seems like another thing that would go well over rice which is why I might switch up the rice on the chicken up there and then Saturday might be takeout because we're super busy or just something really simple or on the go in some kind of way. Thanks so much for watching friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and I hope you all have a great day.